As a worker who harvests and handles fruit and vegetables grown on a farm, you have an important job helping to make sure that the fruits and vegetables are as safe as can be. This video will help you to know how to make good food safety practices a regular part of your workday. Why do we want you to use good food safety practices? Fruits and vegetables, soil, harvest equipment, and workers can all be a source of pathogens. It may be easier to just think of pathogens as germs that make people sick. The germs that make us sick can be found in manure or droppings from wild animals and birds and in the water that comes from ponds, streams and rivers. When droppings or unsafe water contact the soil where we grow fruits and vegetables, there is a risk that the produce could make a consumer sick. Droppings and saliva from birds and other wildlife and dirty pond or stream water can also contaminate the fruits and vegetables just before they are harvested and brought to market. And workers can also spread germs to produce. If you are sick or if you touch produce with dirty hands or gloves, you risk spreading those germs to other people who might handle or eat the produce. Dirty tools such as dirty knife and dirty equipment such as dirty harvest bin can also pass germs to the fruits and vegetables you harvest, move, wash or store. How do poor harvest practices make people sick? Bacteria, viruses and other types of germs can make people sick with what is called a foodborne illness. When fresh fruits and vegetables contaminated with germs from the field or during harvest are prepared and eaten at home, they might make people sick. These germs might spread from the produce to counters or knives in the kitchen or hands that are doing the cooking. You can see how safe harvesting practices are very important to ensure a safe food supply. Good agricultural practices. Think about your workday from early morning until you leave to go home. How can you fit in these food safety practices during the harvest day? First, start your day by coming to work in clean clothes with clean hair and clean hands. Hand washing is key to keeping food safe. Wash your hands before starting work even if gloves are used. Wash your hands after going to the bathroom, before and after eating or smoking, and after working with animals, digging in the soil, or other activities that might leave germs on hands. Think about the way you harvest foods. Use food safe practices when harvesting. Choose harvest tools that are clean at the beginning of the day. Clean knives, gloves, and harvest bins regularly. If needed, you may also want to make sure that they are sanitized. That is, after cleaning, tools or bins are rinsed with water that has a sanitizer in it. Make sure that trucks, forklifts, carts, or trailers are as clean as possible. If your farm uses harvesting machines, look them over to make sure they are clean and not a possible source of germs. Don't use farm or harvest equipment that has been used in places where farm animals live or graze or where manure is stored. Do not stack bins in a way that lets the bottoms touch harvested produce. Germs from the soil or dirty bin bottoms can spread to the fruits or vegetables they are stacked on. It is best to use a clean pallet or plastic liner on the ground under bins so that the bottoms are not touching the ground. Look out for signs of animals that may have contacted produce that you're going to harvest. This includes animal manure or signs that animals have eaten the product. Do not harvest any product that might have been touched by bird droppings, animals, or animal manure. Do not pick up dropped produce. Dropped produce includes vegetables that have dropped to the ground, drooped onto the ground, such as tomatoes on the vine, or fallen on the ground. It does not include vegetables like squash or fruits like melon that grow on the ground. If you're packing in the field, that is, you're ready to sell or ship, 
Be sure that packing materials such as boxes, bins or bags are clean before using. It is best to use new packing materials or use liners in cleaned, reusable boxes. When bringing harvested produce to the packing area, keep it as clean as possible. Cover the produce if possible with a clean tarp or use a covered truck. Avoid stacking bins and watch out for birds that might contaminate the product. In summary, good agricultural practices during harvest help to keep food safe and reduce contamination by the germs that cause foodborne illness. Food safe practices are used during a post-harvest work day and also during packing, shipping and storage. Attention to food safety is good for the farm business. It is critical to follow food safety practices to prevent people who eat the produce from your farm from getting sick. Farm workers and the farmer should create a food safe working environment that complies with government health rules. For a video on post-harvest food safety, please visit the Yukon Extension website for food safety. For frequently asked questions on farmer training, please visit the link at Yukon Food Safety.